Good evening and welcome to Providence, everybody. Before we get started tonight, because it's going to be a long night, I want to thank the hardworking and unionized members of Unite Here who are serving us here at the hotel. Thank you for what they're doing to make this an enjoyable night tonight. To the whole staff at The Graduate. It is an honor to be up here and see so many friends and neighbors from across Providence and so many great Democrats from across Rhode Island to celebrate. When we work together, we win. And when Democrats win, Working Rhode Islanders win and the middle class wins. In Providence, in our campaign in Providence, we built a campaign of community organizers, of artists and activists, of business leaders and barbers and builders and painters and cooks and nurses and engineers and public servants, so many who call our city home. And because of that coalition, we were successful in September, and I stand here tonight as your next mayor of the capital city. Before we get too far into the program tonight, I want to thank a few key people who were critical to my campaign. First, and most importantly to me, my husband Jim, who has been by my side every day, a third generation Rhode Islander, who is in, as committed to Providence as I am. I want to thank what I believe, and I'm a little biased, the, hard, the hardest working campaign team in all of Rhode Island. Emily and Zach and Mike and Trent and Shastri and Anthony, all of our amazing volunteers and interns and canvassers. Together, we knocked on thousands of doors and made thousands of phone calls in Providence. I want to thank the hard-working men and women from organized labor who made a huge difference in my campaign. The men and women of the Rhode Island Building Trades, led by Michael Sabatoni, and particularly the members of Local 1033, the city employees in Providence, and their leader, Ron Coya. Thank you to organized labor for seeing Democrats win. And above all, thank you so much, muchísimas gracias, to the people of Providence for their confidence in me and the team that we've built. Together, we are going to take this city to new heights. Since we started, I've had the opportunity to talk to thousands of our neighbors about a vision for Providence, a vision for the capital city that finally meets the potential that we all know that it has. And in those conversations, I've been struck by two things. First, there is a love for Providence a pride in our city that does not exist elsewhere in this country. I've had the opportunity to live and work elsewhere, and I know that we have something special here. And there's, secondly, there's an understanding that together we can reach these great heights. We have assets most cities would dream of, world-class universities and hospitals, thriving small businesses, diverse neighborhoods, and some of the best arts and culture and, yes, food in all of America. We can be a world-class city. The envy of other cities around the country, but it's time to roll up our sleeves and do the work to reach that potential. It's time to finally, finally deliver on real results for students and families in our public school system. It's time to address the violent crime and the quality of life crimes in our cities and get back to real community policing. And it is time to make Providence the epicenter of new economic development with real investments of an affordable housing and make sure that every family can get ahead in our city. And yes, it's time to get back to basics and tackle the simple quality of life issues that hold us back. I have pledged to be the quality of life mayor for Providence, and I'm excited to get to work on January 2nd. But tonight's not about me or about filling potholes the right way, though I'd be happy to talk to you about it for hours to come. It is about celebrating the Democratic slate of candidates that we are going to celebrate all night long because we've got great candidates from town council people and city council people to mayors to our statewide elected issues, uh, officials and to our federal delegation. We have got great candidates that I was proud to vote for today and that you all worked so hard on behalf of.
Our chairman, Joe McNamara, who leads this party, is going to be uh, leading the show tonight to continue to introduce this incredible slate of candidates that is going to deliver for you all night and in the years to come. And I will say once again, I am so proud and excited and grateful to all of you to be the next mayor of Providence. Welcome. Thank you very much.